Hello friends, welcome. Now we are going to start another variant of simplex method that is known as B game method. But before starting any case or solution of any problem, let us get the recap or revision of the rules or signs which are a part of inequalities or constraints. Sign in the constraint is less than or equal to, then we have to add slack variables in all the constraints or inequalities with the sign less than or equal to. We have already showed a few examples having this type of signs in the constraints. The slack variable shows the unused capacity or unused resources. Arithmetically, say for example, the inequality of this type. And when we get the optimal solution of the problem, it is possible that we get the values of x1 and x2 such that if we substitute these values in this inequality, the summation of left hand side might be exactly equal to 100 or less than 100. When the summation of the left hand side is less than 100, how can the equality part be satisfied? Say 2x1 plus 4x2 equals to 100. But the original constraint also allows the summation or total to be less than 100. When we solve the linear programming problem, we solve it through always the equality. But as a part of solution, it is possible as allowed by this original constraint to have the values of x1 and x2 such that they give the total of the left hand side less than 100 in this example. Then how can we balance the total of left hand side and right hand side? Slack variable say makes the balance possible. For example, in this case, if we get x1 equals to 10 and x2 equals to 50. So what will happen? 2 into 10 plus 4 into 15 that is 60 plus 20, 80. So the equality is not satisfied. Inequality part 2x1 plus 4x2 less than 100 is satisfied. But equality part is not satisfied. That is not valid. So we introduce slack variable. In this case the value of slack variable if we examine the solution of the problem the value of slack variable will be 20 in such a way that 2x1 plus 4x2 plus s1 equals to 100 what will happen 2 into 10 plus 4 into 15 plus 20 equals to 100 yes it is possible 20 plus 60 plus 20 it is 100 so the slack variable makes the balance of left hand side and right hand side possible even if we convert the inequality into an equality this is the importance of slack variable in this example we can easily understand that the slack variable shows the unused quantity of the say source or capacity now if a problem is having greater than or equal to type of inequality then what first of all it is exactly opposite to less than sign so we cannot introduce a slack variable because there is no need of study or say uh, any quantity of unused resources the situation will be exactly opposite to that if we take this example 20x1 plus 50x2 greater than or equal to 4800 that means inequality part allows that the total of left hand side can be greater than 4800 inequality it will be exactly equal to 4800 now if we solve this problem and get x1 and x2 the values of x1 and x2 in such a way that the total of left hand side 
comes to greater than 4800, comes to any value greater than 4800, then how can we balance the equality? Because instead of positive value like slack variable, there must be some negative value. Then only the left hand side which is greater than right hand side can be say substituted in the equality and the equality can be satisfied. So we have to subtract something instead of adding slack variable. So we subtract surplus variable. Because of subtraction of surplus variable, even though the left hand side has the total greater than right hand side, the equality can be satisfied. For example, in our old assumed inequality, suppose it is like that, and we get value of x1 say 20, and value of x2 40. 2 into 20 plus 4 into 40. It is 200. Now, what? It is wrong. But inequality part allows us. 2 into 20 plus 4 into 40 greater than 200. Yes, it is a, sorry. 100. Now, how to balance this part into equality? So we have to do something like this. That means 2 into 20 plus 4 into 40 minus 100 equals 200 is possible. Then what is this minus 100? That minus 100 is the surplus variable subtracted. This 100 shows the surplus variable. So in case of greater than inequality, we have to subtract the surplus variable which is exactly opposite to the logic of adding slack variable in case of less than inequality. Another part is in this case greater than and equal to are treated two separate signs. In this case less than and equal to both are treated as a single sign while in this case both are treated as separate sign greater than and equal to. For greater than part we subtract surplus variable. For equality part we have to add artificial variable. Yes, we have to add artificial variable. Otherwise, what is the reason behind introducing or adding artificial variable? Like slack variable, we cannot start a solution with surplus variable taking a solution variable. That is not possible. Mathematically, that is not possible. So, if we introduce only surplus variable in these two inequalities, we cannot start with the initial solution. In case of initial solution, we should have another variable over and above the surplus variable. That's why to start with initial solution, we add artificial variable. As the name suggests, it is artificial. It has no numerical value in the optimal solution. So, just for the purpose of starting with initial solution, we introduce artificial variables and when we introduce artificial variable in any inequality having sign greater than or equal to or in equality itself, we can take artificial variables as solution variables in the initial solution and we can start the mathematical process of solving the problem and gradually say reaching the optimal solution and that's why when any artificial variable goes out from the row we will also remove its column from the simplex table see bgm method is another variant of simplex method so originally it is simplex method but because of the introduction of artificial variable we have to say use some new things in the simplex method and one of them is use of capital M as an say as a coefficient of artificial variable in the z function or objective function that's why this is known as big M method but at present it is very important to note that slack variable shows the unused 
reduce capacity that's why we have to add it to the inequality having sign of less than or equal to surplus variable is exactly opposite to the slack variable that's why we have to subtract the surplus variable when we have the sign greater than artificial variable is introduced in the equality to start with the initial solution so now to solve the given problem first as usual we have to simplify it let us simplify it what is going to happen the objective is minimization signs are greater than or equal to both are in matching with each other but because of sign of greater than or equal to we shall have to introduce two virtual variables surplus and artificial now let us write the revised version of the problem minimize z equals to 40x1 plus 24x2 plus 0s1 because there are two inequalities with greater than sign so we will have to introduce two surplus variable in the first as well as second inequality now what what will be the sign of artificial variable in the objective function or z function if it is the case of minimization then we have to use plus sign plus m a1 and plus m a2 we have to use plus sign when the objective is minimization that means we can conclude that we have to use minus sign with m a1 m a2 type of variables in the objective function when it is the case of maximization now subject to the first will be 20x1 plus 50x2 minus s1 plus a1 equal to 4800 and similarly in case of second 80x1 plus 50x2 minus s2 plus a2 equals to 7200 and ultimately we have six variables now x1 x2 s1 s2 a1 and a2 all are non-negative so this is the simplification of a linear programming problem having greater than or equal to signs in the constraints now in the next video lectures we are going to solve this problem through the bgm method thank you very much